youth, what's up? It is 2022. We're back again for more youth devotionals, new ideas, fun things. We're so excited. Hope you stick around and keep watching with us. I'm gonna tell you something, some things about me that not everyone knows. To start with, uh, I was homeschooled from kindergarten all the way through high school. You may not have known that about me. Another thing about me not everyone knows is that I was trained in dance when I was younger. I took classes in ballet, tap, and jazz hip-hop and point and all kinds of stuff. I competed on a dance team and now I teach dance and get to be a dance coach for kids, which is really cool. Another thing not everyone knows about me, I've been snorkeling, I like to travel, I like to do fun things. What's something that not a lot of people know about you? Tell me in the comments while you're watching. Today, we're talking about loneliness. So this is something that's really affected our world in the last couple years with quarantines, shutdowns, you're kind of stuck at home and maybe a little bit limited with who you can hang out with. And sometimes that feels really lonely. I'm going to show you something you might remember from science class. I'm going to show you uh, this prism. Check out this prism here. And it looks pretty surface level when you just look at it. It's a clear ball. Uh, lots of different angles you can see right through it. But when it hits the light, something you see with the light is all these little prisms and rainbows and almost looks like a disco ball and all these beautiful things come out of just this little clear ball. That's kind of what each one of us is like. Each one of us have beautiful things inside of us that not everybody knows about. But when we hit the light, when God uses us in a moment, <laughs> we are show our gifts and talents for everybody to see now here's a couple of things about loneliness one everyone's experienced it at some point in our lives it's just part of life even jesus experienced loneliness as you read throughout the bible he was persecuted for his faith he was rejected even his own brothers did not believe that he was the messiah and in the end of the story of Jesus, we see him, you know, crucified on Holy Week. He was rejected. They called him King of the Jews. He had no one there. And even God himself rejected him. He was all alone hanging on that cross. And if you read in Matthew 27, he says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The Bible also says Jesus was tempted in every way and he can relate with us in the book of Hebrews. So we know that Jesus has felt every feeling we feel and God is always there. Even though it seems like a far off thing way out here, God is always there to fill your loneliness. A quote I really have liked is that the Holy Spirit didn't just come into our lives to um, make our meetings better. He didn't just come so that we could speak in tongues and run around and shout and all this awesome stuff we do at church. That's beautiful and we love that part of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came to swallow up your loneliness forever. He came to make you feel whole and with Jesus said before he left, I'm sending something better. He said that to his disciples because Jesus was limited in how much he could be with us, how much he could talk to us, teach us, be around. The Holy Spirit's presence is with us always. He's always there. If you're feeling lonely, if you don't know what to do, he brings things back to our memory. It's so much better this way. So I'm going to tell you a couple things about feeling lonely. I have had times in my life where I felt lonely and something that's really crazy that can happen. You can be in a room full of people. You can be with all your friends, all your family, and you can still feel lonely. It's not about how many people you know, how popular you are, who all is with you. It's about inside yourself, your security in Christ. Do you feel seen in Him? So I've walked through seasons where I felt lonely and uh, over the years I've learned to be alone and not be lonely. I learned to love being alone at times. I love going shopping alone. I love going to coffee shops alone and hanging out. I've lived alone at times and it's awesome and it's a gift to be alone and be okay with yourself and to get to know yourself and to spend time with the Lord. I love hanging out with friends. I love being with family. I love fellowship and all that stuff is amazing too, but the Lord really taught me how to love both and how to love my alone time with Him and see it as a gift because there's times in our lives where it comes in ebbs and flows. So maybe during COVID, you've had a lot of time with your family or a lot of time by yourself. It's a great time to get to know you, get to know what's awesome and special about you. And when you are comfortable being alone, when you go to others and make friends with others and you love yourself, that energy and that presence will just explode from there. 
People love to be around people who are confident in themselves. Another key I wanna share with you is if you feel like you are lonely, look for someone else who maybe you think is feeling the same way. Look for someone else who maybe doesn't have a lot of friends, maybe struggles with loneliness. Don't be afraid to reach out to them first, to show them love first, to be the one that says, hey, I wanna be your friend and I wanna be around you. We all have something inside of us, like that rainbow there. As we wrap up today, I just wanna remind you of a couple things. One, even Jesus felt lonely. We all felt lonely at times. Two, when you feel lonely, the Holy Spirit is there and he's there to fill you and to be with you. Three, if you have time to yourself, it's a great time to spend with the Lord. It's a great time to get to know yourself and what you like and your interests. Four, see who God has for you to reach out to. See who he wants you to show love to. The Bible says they will know us by our love. Don't be like the world and exclude people or leave them out, but look for someone you can love and invite in so they don't feel lonely. Thanks so much for joining us today. Leave some comments below and let us know what you think of this new format and everything. And we're so excited. Hope you can come back to youth on Wednesday night or keep watching more of our youth devotionals. I'll see you later.